Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Sun, Moon and Rising Aries. This is the week of um, the third week of July 2017. This week is a week of justice. Uh, justice is the energy vibration of the week. It is a here zodiac energy week is water. And um, with the water we have uh, on Sunday it's changing to fire. What is so strange about your reading is that you have three times eight right behind each other Friday 8 Saturday 8 Sunday 8 this week is beginning from the 17 until the 20 on the 17 until the 23rd so um, there's a lot of stuff that is happening there's judgment uh, there is uh, people walking away from things uh, um, your whole energy vibration is in the reverse form for whatever reason I'm not sure what is going on here but all the eights are in reverse the infinity abundancy so um, we are going to take a closer look to it and need my glasses because okay on Monday what do we have we have the energy of love um, we have the energy of love and we have the energy of transformation okay the energy of love and the energy of transformation so whatsoever is happening debt is a transformation so whatever is happening with your love relationship there is going to be a transformation and this transformation can be a transformation because of conflicts that is happening in your relationship so we're going to look closely to see whatsoever is happening because obviously on Monday um, there is um, conflicts with a relationship. So whatever, what, whatsoever is affecting your relationships, your personal relationship, your intimate relationships, relationships with your husband and wife, uh, there is a, a conflicts there, or it could be a relationship to somebody who is seeing each other and. Uh, um, there is a difference of opinion or whatsoever is happening here debt comes up again on Tuesday and this is going to be a debt of judgment so something is definitely happening to you Hmm, Aries people because debt is also your focus uh, transformation and debt comes up with judgment so this could be real debt happening in a family that somebody's passed it over to the spirit world. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's judgment with the angels calling the trumpet. Whenever the angels come up to call the trumpet, it's always the changing over from the spirit. So someone is moving on. Uh, that's going to be on Tuesday for some people. So you will have family members moving on. You have the Four of Cups, which is governing your reading. The Four of Cups is uh, your planning. This is a, a thing of thinking out things and planning things further. So don't see this as you're in boredom. You're actually thinking and planning. As you look at the lady face, you can see she's there sitting with a cigarette in her hands and she has flowers and, and she's thinking it's as if she's thinking what is going to be her next move? What is she going to do? And this sort of a thing. So she is trying to bring balance in her life, but yet still she is thinking, how am I going to do this? So the four of cups and she's thinking about moving away from something if there is a transformation of that somebody passing on then people will find will look for the time and try to think back on the person in within a, in a positive light and trying to figure out you know how what is this connection and how is this connection is going okay on Thursday you have the nine of swords and it is an air a zodiac energy vibration the nine of swords have to do with the king of pentacles whoever this king of pentacles is um, it can be a Taurus a Virgo or a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and this person is having an effect on you in some reason because you're you're thinking what is happening you know you're in a conflict with yourself wondering what is happening and it could be somebody who is not really nice and you you are thinking about what you know what were they looking at what what, what they're looking for what what are they about you know who are they giving information to that sort of a thing 
on Friday you have the energy of the eight of ones in reverse this is good because the eight of ones in reverse is not really good because eight of ones that means information that you'll be receiving from someone um, it's not coming through its block or whatever information that you should be receiving is not coming through its block so be aware of what is going on here but with this block information it is also the end of a burden so whatever that you know this 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 information isn't coming um, through from someone and it's it's block but it's the block of this information is good because it's like it's releasing you for a bur from a burden because uh, um, wherever and whoever this person is in this information it's re releasing you from that burden so that is good another eight in reverse the eight of cups is in reverse which you have moved away from a situation and this situation has to do with someone who is affecting you that can be your own self maybe for some people you are you know for connecting with yourself finding yourself and um, certain things that you once did or think about you're no longer doing it it can be that someone has passed away and you are not comforted you are you're, you're just moving away from whatsoever is happening maybe you are having a, a time off from your lover that sort of a thing can be happening because whenever the eight of cups is in reverse that means you have left something behind and these are affecting the women whatsoever is happening on Saturday with a relationship is as if you have left something behind moving away from something as we look at Sunday we have the eight of uh, Pentacles in reverse and it is uh, the eight of Pentacles in reverse is a situation where um, you thought that it was best it is a good is good thing because whatever you were working on is going to bring you abundance so you don't have to put in all that work that you have been doing because it's going to um, it's, it's going to be good because whatever um, you know you don't have to it's as if you you were sitting in a situation where you had no clarity to a certain situation and then after you're putting all of this work and all of this thing and you realize hey I can do it myself you know um, all the work that I've put in is actually going to pay it out. So, um, what you're looking at is actually that you know now I'm going to focus on something else because I've done with that project and I'm just waiting for things to come through. That sort of a thing. So, when we look at your week, it's a really strange week because debt debt is here twice in this week and whenever it comes up to twice my angels and guides are always and the angels are here which is judgment it's as if the angels are calling down so some people are going to um some people are going to um um realize that someone is going to pass over to the spirit world or is about to pass over to the spirit world if the any if, if the person doesn't pass over on Tuesday the person is going to pass over this can be a very very um, uh, um, uh, um, sensitive situation for a whole lot of people and this is happening in the first week because the energy of death and the lovers and uh, um, you is as if um, you end a relationship with someone for some people you you know judgment came up and you think and you decided you found out that you know certain things certain people were um, vibrating on an energy an energy of uh, ego and that sort of a thing controlling and that sort of a thing and you decided to move away from this relationship whatever it was uh, was it something that has just started and you so, sort of seen red flags and you think for yourself this is much better that I uh, move away and release myself from that energy vibration because it's not something that I want to, to bring forward in my life I'm not at that space anymore I, I am vibrating at a high energy vibration for the people condolence to um, um, who I, um, is passing away let them go remember the good times that you're shared with them um, we're not here to stay for a very long time and a lot of um, situations uh, um, the ten of swords uh, the stabbing in the back uh, you are moving away from that whatever you know if uh, there will if 
you end so uh, let's say you ask someone to do you service and uh, you decided this is not working for me this is not what I want uh, this is not how I expect it to be this is not the way that they should be doing it that they're working from their ego base then you are going to say you know this is it uh, I am leaving this situation behind and you're going to hand a sort of a situation that was going on so if you had a situation with someone um, who was you know stabbing you in the back and lying about certain things so you have realized this and you're walking away from it and this is why this week is a week of justice because whatsoever that was on balance you're going to see balance coming in your life in this week because you are going to realize that whatever negativity that people have been doing and people have been um, uh, you know it's going to come to an end so there's a, going to be a transformation in a week like this there is is, is the 10 of uh, the 10 the number 10 and the number 8 is going to be a significant role and it's going to play a significant role to you some people are leaving their relationships behind and moving forward second half of the week whatever worries you had about somebody who was a king you know that is coming to an end whatever lie they told whatever burden that they have placed onto you is coming to an end because whatever happened you are being restored it's as if and the source universal angels come in and decided because the energy of judgment is also here and decided it is coming to an end all that people were doing against you is coming out and uh, um, you know the angels and guide are saying this is the end we are putting a stop to this and uh, this is good because it's it's not one of those best weeks I've never seen something like this it's not one of those best weeks for you guys but what it is is a balance is coming in your life and whenever a week like this is coming in with a balance whenever death is here transformation twice transformation twice is telling me that some people are going to have members of their families or people close to them who will be passed in a way I'm seeing a husband or a wife losing their husband and wife because the wife is passing over that sort of a thing um, and you know these are wonderful these these messages because I see that as transformation because I am not really afraid of that and um, we're taught from the universe and a spiritual thing that we should accept the transformation that comes in our life and whenever we understand that uh, no one is here for a very long time we'll understand that whatever aspect whatever we are faced uh, that we need to work on it you have the eight of the eight of ones in reverse which there's a block message and it is good that block message is good because that message is um, a situation where you are finishing off something and you're making sure that this is finished off and you're putting an end and a stop to it because something was definitely not vibrating your but you're killing something something that people you know the lies and all of that and the burdens you are putting an end to it and you're bringing an end to it and this is good so you know this is a, a, actually a week where transformation um, things are changing um, all the lies are being seen and um, people who were not vibrating on an ing vibration will be automatically removed out of your life we're working with our love there is no love in this week for you guys it's 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 a week of you concentrating on yourself you are trying to focus on certain aspect and in this week it's all about you know looking back trying to find trying to plan something trying to make sure that things are happening for yourself in your life okay the message that is here is that spirits awaken and it says I embrace my soul purpose and align all aspect of my life to fully okay so what you're doing is that I you're embracing your soul purpose and you're aligning all aspect of your life um, to it fully and this is uh, extremely wonderful so whatsoever is happening you need to understand 
that what whatsoever you need to do to um, um, connect with spirit do it because whatsoever is happening here you are going to see that this is going to change and a lot of stuff is going to change okay I love when spirit we're working this week with the Oracle all of what is happening we're working together with the Oracle so this is good um, whatever you need to do you need to understand where you are at this time the other message you have the wisdom of the Oracle and let's see what is happening to see you have two cards to see so one of the cards is uh, to see whatever the energy of to see comes up and you have clean up to see and clean up okay so what this is saying is that find the energy and find the flow within your life and clean up all the mess that has been made and start over and clean as a, a, a slate so you're going to move unwanted people and things out of your life and you're going to begin on a new slate and this is extremely good and sometimes we really need to move certain people in certain situations out of our life and begin on a new a new um, place so I want to say to each and every person thank you thank you for all your support your likes and shares your thumbs up um, if you are a newcomer I hope you will stay and let's look at what is in our life what is affecting us in this week and try and work with the energies to bring balance clean up that no longer need move away people and things that no longer have an effect on your life and um, start anew okay and I want to say namaste until next week